How would you fill in the blank? The answer is B. The answer is A. Did you say you're wrong? You're wrong is something you can say when someone gives the wrong answer or information or when you disagree with their opinion. However, it's very direct and strong. That means in certain situations, it might be a little aggressive and rude. There are other ways to say that someone answered incorrectly or that you have a different opinion. Today, you'll learn six other ways you can say you're wrong. I'll introduce them in order from casual to formal. You've got it wrong. Use this when someone has misunderstood something in a casual situation. You can add all to emphasize that they have completely misunderstood. You've got it all wrong. It seems like you don't want to talk anymore, so I'm going to go home. You've got it wrong. I'm just a little tired. I still want to talk. That's not right. This is a short, direct expression you can use when someone gives the wrong answer or information. Although it's direct, it's a little more polite than you're wrong because you're saying that instead of you. It's a little more formal because of incorrect. The more casual version is, that's not right. I think the answer is C. That's incorrect. The answer is D. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Use this expression when you want to tell someone that they understood something incorrectly or are wrong about something, but you want to be polite. It's good for formal situations because of I'm afraid, which is used when giving bad news. You must be the manager. I'm afraid you're mistaken. I'm just an employee. I don't think you're right about that. This is an expression you can use when someone is wrong, but you want to politely and carefully tell them that they're wrong. You can also use this expression when you think they're wrong, but you're not sure. The deadline is tomorrow. I don't think you're right about that. It's next week on Friday. I see it differently. Try using this expression when someone has a different opinion from you. This means it's an issue that might not have a clear right answer. Although you think they're wrong because their opinion is different from yours, you can be polite about it when you use this expression. I think a four-day work week is impossible. I see it differently. I have to disagree with you on that. This is another good expression when you want to say that your opinion is different politely. It's good for formal situations. For instance, if you disagree with a coworker, this is a good expression to use. Saying have to emphasizes that you don't want to disagree, but you do because it's the right thing to do. We should change this ad design completely. I have to disagree with you on that. Now that you know other ways you can say you're wrong, what would you put in this blank? The answer is B. The answer is A. Let me know in the comments down below. Did you enjoy today's lecture? Wait, don't just leave yet. If you go to the Cake app, below the video, you'll see our A-level speaking challenge feature. It'll help you practice speaking key sentences from the lecture, and you can also get your pronunciation checked. So check it out and try until you get an A to improve your speaking skills. So download Cake today, and I'll see you in the next class. Bye.